2013 Polaris Ranger Razor XP900 LE Orange Madness slash Blue Edition. Uh, this is a nice, nice, nice machine. The orange is actually a orange metallic pearl. As you can tell, they've powder coated the undercarriage. Still got the white springs. Orange under there with the uh, A arms and stuff. Still got the Fox podium shocks. Uh, they did go with the ITP Baja cross tires on this unit, which I'm not a really big fan of. I don't really know a lot about them. I would like to have seen them keep the uh, Maxxis Bighorn, the standard Bighorn, not the 2.0, but the standard Bighorn. I, I would like to have had that tire. Uh, but we'll see how this tire works. It may be pretty decent. I don't have any idea. Never had it. Um, here's a 900 EFI. Does have electronic power steering. The blue and black graphics on the orange. Like I said, this, this orange is actually a paint. It's an orange metallic pearl. It is beautiful in the sunshine. Um, as you go down the side of the machine, you can tell that they maintain the seats that they had in the the black orange madness which is what i had before i had a really nice black orange madness um but i like this one this blue and orange is really nice that's the rzr xp decals on the back of the bed i'll try to show you what they've done here uh, last year in 2012 2011 2012 in this area of the bed right here was a dry sump and that's where you put your oil in that's not there anymore now what you do is you go under the cover and on top of the motor is an oil cap and that's where you put your oil in now and the way they done it is they basically put a larger oil pan I'll get up in here and see if I can see that oil pan let's see if I can see it down here there is a larger oil pan right there on the bottom of the motor. Now you'll notice if you know anything about the 11s or 12s, there, that little, there's a little thin plate on the bottom of the motor right there. In this one, there's actually an oil pan. So that's how they're getting the oil and where they're putting the oil. Instead of having it in that reservoir, they've made it a wet sump engine instead of a dry sump engine. Is there a drawback to it? I don't have any idea. I don't really know the difference, if it makes a difference. Uh, I know some performance engines use a dry sump system, but uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt it to have the oil in the motor. I, I think it's probably an advantage. I think it keeps the center of gravity a little lower. Plus it gives you that extra room in the bed. You know, and I know it's not much room, but it is enough, you know, it does. You know, I mean, you can put a gas can there. Uh, still got the orange cross suspension in the back LED tail lights um, I think they're LED tail lights I'm not sure I know there is a bulb and then there is some LEDs on one side of it I'm I'm pretty pretty sure your belt housing that's the same uh, like I said it does have the Fox shocks on it uh, does have the ITP Baja Cross XD tires which I know very little about, but I'm sure if ITP made it, it's a good tire. Uh, like I said, I just I'm just a big fan of the big horn. Uh, exhaust is basically the same. Everything about this unit is basically the same as the the 2011, 2012, uh, except for the dry sump and the room in the bed. Uh, gauge cluster is the same. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that gauge cluster. I like it. Uh, you got your uh, high and low four wheel drive, high and low beams, 12 volt outlet, your grab handle, your glove box, plenty of room, two cup holders, uh, seat belts I'm not a big fan of. I, I will be putting shoulder harnesses in mine. This one will be getting shoulder harnesses real soon. Uh, and a set of doors. And I may change to uh, Bighorn tires, like I said. 
I know I'm gonna be going to a 14 inch beadlock wheel. Uh, Motorsports Alloy E16s make a great wheel for this machine. Uh, it's a great, great, great wheel. Looks awesome. Look them up, you'll like them. Uh, I had them on my black Orange Madness. Very, very, very nice wheel. Durable. Uh, but there it is, guys. Like I said, this is the 2013 Polaris Ranger RZR XP900 LE with power steering. It's a nice ride. This one will be going home with me today.